Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is a squared plus 2ab minus 3b squared, this is equal to 65. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b? Given that a and b, these are members of positive integers and that a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0. So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, we have here a squared plus 2ab subtract 3b squared. This is equal to 65. Now, here we have a squared plus 2ab. Now, to form an algebraic equation here, now we have a squared minus, that is plus 2ab minus 3b squared. So here we add b squared minus b squared this is equal to 65 so by adding b squared minus b squared we don't alter the arrangement of this equation so therefore from here we can form an algebraic equation here which is a squared plus 2ab then plus b squared minus 3b squared minus b squared this is equal to 65. Now, from this part here, as you can see, this is an algebraic identity here that we can express as a plus b raised to the power of 2. Okay? And then subtract 3b squared minus b squared. This is 4b to the power of 2. This is equal to 65. Now, we have a plus b raised to the power of 2, subtract 4b to the power of 2. We can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2, multiplying by b to the power of 2. This is equal to 65. The next step is that 2 to the power of 2 times b to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n which we can express as a b raised to the power of n. Therefore, here we have a plus b raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 65. The next step is that a plus b to the power of 2 minus 2b to the power of 2. This is in the form of x squared minus y squared which is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as x plus y then here we have x minus y from this equation here we have that x here is equal to a plus b and you have that y is equal to 2b so now we have that x plus y this is the same thing as a plus b plus 2b multiplied by x minus y. Here we have a plus b minus 2b. This is actually equal to 65. Now let's proceed from here. Therefore, here we have a plus b plus 2b. This becomes a plus 3b. Then here we have a plus b minus 2b. This becomes minus b. Cross the parentheses. This is equal to 65. The next step from here, we have that a plus 3b. This is greater than a minus b. Now, the next step from here, is to determine the prime factors of 65. So we have 65 times 1. If you see 65 times 1, this is equal to 65. Then we have 1 times 65. This is equal to 65. Then we have 5 times 13. This is equal to 65. And that 13 times 5, this will also give us a value of 65. Following this condition here, 
that a plus 3b is greater than a minus b, then this means that a 65 is greater than 1. This satisfies the condition. 1 is less than 65, so this means that this, could, this part here is rejected. The next one here, 5, is less than 13, so also this part here is rejected. Then we have 13 is greater than 5, so here we have the second case. So we have here case 1, and here we have case 2. So let's start with case 1 here. Let's start with case 1. In case 1, we have a plus 3b, then a minus b, this is equal to 65, multiplied by 1. And this implies that here we have a plus 3b, this is equal to 65, and we have that a minus b, this is equal to 1. So let's subtract these two systems of free equation here, such that we have a minus a, this is equal to 0, 3b minus minus b, this is equal to 4b, this is equal to 65 minus 1, this is equal to 64. So let's divide both signs by 4, so that now we have that b is equal to 64 divided by 4, and this is equal to 16. So we have the value of b is equal to 16. So let's solve for the corresponding value of a. We have that a, we can use one of the equation here, a minus b, this is equal to 1. Substituting b with, which is equal to 16, then we have a minus 16, this is equal to 1. Let's take minus 16 on the right hand side, so that now a is equal to 1 plus 16, and this implies that a is equal to 17. So therefore, we have that a, comma b, this is equal to 17, comma 16. So this is the first set of solution that we have under case 1. This is the first set of solution. Let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2 here, we have a plus 3b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to 13 multiplied by 5. So from here, we can form two systems of linear equations. That is a plus 3b. This is equal to 13. And we have that a minus b. This is equal to 5. So we can subtract these two systems of free equation here. Such that we have a minus a, this is equal to 0. And we have that 3b minus minus b, this is equal to 4b. This is equal to 13 minus 5, and this is equal to 8. To solve for b here, we divide both sides by 4. So that now, b is equal to 8 divided by 4, this is equal to, to 2. So we have the value of b is equal to 2. So to solve for a here, we have a minus b, this is equal to 5. Substituting b which is 2, then we have a minus 2, this is equal to 5. And this implies that a is equal to 5 plus 2, and this is equal to 7. So the second set of solution here, that is a comma b, this is equal to 7 comma 2. So this is the second set of solution. Now let's verify that these two set of solutions satisfies the equation. We have that a b which is equal to 17 comma 16. You can call this a1 comma b1. Then a2 comma b2 this is equal to 7 and 2. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we end the equation that a squared plus 2ab 
then subtract 3b squared this should give us a value of 65 now let's substitute the first set of solution here so we have 17 squared now plus 2 times a which is 17 then times b which is 16 then subtract 3 multiplying by this is 16 raised to the power of 2 this should give us a value of 65 now 17 squared this is equal to 289 then plus 17 times 16 then times 2 and this is equal to 544 then subtract 16 squared this is 256 times 3 this is 768 and this should give us a value of 65 now here we have 289 plus 584 this is equal to 833 subtract 768 and this is equal to 65 so here we have 65 is equal to 65 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that a1 b1 which is 17 and 16 here satisfies the equation so let's check for a2 b2 here so substituting a2 and b2 then we have here we have 7 squared plus 2 times 7 times 2 then subtract 3 multiplying by 2 raised to the power of 2 this should give us a value of 65 so 7 squared this is 49 then plus 2 times 2 this is 4 times 7 this is 28 then subtract 2 squared this is 4 times 3 this is 12 this is supposed to give us a value of 65 so here we have 7 squared this is 49 then plus 2 times 2 4 times 7 this is 28 subtract 2 squared this is 4 times 3 this is 12 and this should give us a value of 65 now we have 49 plus 28 and this is equal to 77 subtract 12 this is supposed to give us a value of 65 77 minus 12 this is equal to 65 which is equal to 65 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that a2 comma b2 which is 7 comma 2 also satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe kindly like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now